he'd like to see goals from their win over Kilkenny. Referee again penalising the Kilkenny backs for holding. And there is a 21-yard free for Cork, dead straight in front of the goal. Shawnee Barry to take it again. And I wonder will he be satisfied with the point with that line of defence in front of him at this stage of the game? I'm sure he will. Let's wait and see. He is not. It's back down. It's the goal. And it breaks to Pat Fitzgerald. He's been chased by two Kilkenny men. He flips it back to Mick Waters, and Mick sends it. Long clearance, well up the field, putting Cork into the attack. The ball in front of the goal. The ball right in front of the goal now. And another shot by John Bennett. And it's the goal. A goal for Cork. A goal for Cork. Column Sheehan and. and uh, Johnny McCarthy in there with the ball, and the ball finished to the net to make the score 2-4 to 8 points. Colm Sheehan, the scorer, 2-4 for Cork, 8 points for Kilkenny after 11 minutes of play. 2-5 to 10 points, just one point between them. Cork the leaders, 11 points to 10. And from the puck, it's a long one, way down the field. Jim Tracy's clearance is a short one, however, and John O'Halloran gets the ball for Cork from a very awkward angle, a high one, and the ball is in the net. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal for Cork. John O'Halloran, a dropping ball into the goal. The backs and forwards seem to misjudge. It may have touched somebody else, but the honour of it goes to John O'Halloran. And it's Cork 3-5 till Kenny 10 points. Yeah, sweet memories there for Cork. I'm sure they'll be hoping for something similar this summer.